Hello. Hello, Pharma Life family. Hello. Happy New Year, by the way. May all your dreams come true in 2024. We love you guys. And we love this guy, too. And he just came with us, I think, just before the New Year, right? You were here for the New Year's with us. This is Jason, everybody. Hi. Hello to Pharma Life. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. This is Jason. And Jason's pretty cool. Jason's got, like, a fruit business back in Canada. And, and uh, you know, he came with kind of like a surprise reservation, right? Because... Well, talk to us a little bit about it. You were down on the beach and... Well, I was actually still back in Canada when I booked this. Oh, okay, and, beautiful. And I wanted a place Which to stay for uh, Christmas, New Year's. Okay. Somewhere that was, like, uh, chill and um, had a kitchen and, like, knew it was, like, you know, about eating healthy and nice. vegan as well. And healthy and vegan because you operate this business, right? Talk to us a little bit about your business back in Canada. Um, I sell a uh, local fruit and vegetables that are grown in my area and nice. lots of local food products. Um, but mostly like fruit is the, the big one. I think that's pretty cool. Local seasonal organic, right? We talk about that a lot here and he runs a business in Canada where, where he sells that. I think that's incredible. So very much so in alignment, what we do here and you coming here, it's just perfect. Yeah. So you yeah. don't have a lot of produce for sale in December, January. Yeah. We're open for four months of the year. Nice. nice. So pretty short. Season. Yeah. So it's a short season. So pretty good job right he gets to come down here and enjoy costa rica's dry season all this beauty the stars the sun the beaches the waterfalls we've had a lot of all right of so many good waterfalls yeah and so when you came here you were like okay you booked it here because you knew christmas and new year's would be so busy on the beach yeah right yeah 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 and i could tell from their your website that it was like kind of you know health-based and um yeah i didn't actually i didn't know just why i wanted to stay here until i got here and then it was really apparent to me that this was more than just, hmm. yeah, just that. I remember like you got everything. here. I remember you getting here and you got here early. You're one of the, the, the few guests. You're like, no, you know, I will get there early before that tour to a waterfall. I remember you yeah. got here. I showed, I just barely kind of showed. I was just like, oh, yeah. bop, bop, bop. <laughs> yeah. You showed then, up at 9 a.m. Yeah, you tour. showed up at 9 a.m. Usually people show up yeah. in the afternoon, but you were like, no, man, I want to go to this waterfall. And then, we, you know, we just kind of, you know, you just kind of hit it, hit, you know, hit the trail running here. Really, right? So you went there, you were like, wow, you know, I took him to Goddess Pools, he <laughs> loves it, right? Yeah. Yeah, and tell us your experience here, you know, some of the, you know, the waterfalls and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I got here early because I didn't realize, like, the waterfalls, like, were something that happened every week. And I was yeah. like, oh, I want to, I want to take it in. I didn't know it was the only thing, right. And I only booked it to stay here for 10 days. I didn't yeah. know I'd stay for a month at yeah, the time. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, I want to, so that's a big part of why I got here early. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's like, yeah, like, I want to see it all. Um, this is a big part of why I came to Costa Rica was to, you know, see it all and, Yep. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it, it was just after being here for just a few days, I knew I really didn't want to leave. Nice. And, um, yeah, so it's been <laughs> almost a month now. And, um, uh, yeah, sorry, what was your question about? Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. Um, it was about, like, different waterfalls and you just in, enjoying that experience, you know? Yeah, in the, in the guest season, the the schedule every week was like just fantastic for right. going to market one day of the week, waterfalls like two days a week, yeah, yoga six days of the week, and um, cacao ceremony. There was like it was like a full schedule, but you also felt like you could always just have a chill day if you wanted to, right? And lots of time, but you know, coming together for meals that was one of my favorite parts. Was yeah, everybody right. comes together in the kitchen, and that's. Just like I, wait, I think it's just kind of a human nature thing. Of like we come together for meals. Yeah, but there was really cool people at that at, during the time that you were here. Yeah. And there always is, right? But the energy was was very youthful and uh, energetic. Um, I know you and Vicky went for uh, morning runs, yeah. right? Which is really a lot of fun. Yeah, it was one of the first things that happened when I got here. Actually, I was like, who wants to run tomorrow morning? And yeah, like, four of us went running the next morning down the gravel road, which is like literally. The, the last kilometer to my farm, guys, is, you know, anywhere between yeah. 15 to 25% gradient hills. They are, they're hard enough. I do a lot of mountain biking. They're hard enough to mountain bike. These guys are out there in the morning. I'm taking the dog out with a mountain bike. They're out there running 15 to 25% gradients on a gravel road, which is really impressive. This guy's in good shape. Really amazing. Amazing. Um, so some of the deeper lessons that you got here, right? So you had a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie with the guests. A, you know, a lot of like-mindedness, right? Like you were saying. Um, but then, you know, we did some ceremonies. Cacao. Mm -hmm. Like, what did you get from cacao? Um, well, dancing was really fun and, e and easy. Right. It really helped with just opening up and feeling comfortable. And I think it was 
it was a lot more than just the cacao and just like even just the, the energy here on the farm. Right. And it's something that's, oh, I, I kind of got lost to explain it because it's just there's so many little things that you guys have created here to make it just feel so comfortable. And, um, and yeah, but the cacao is also I remember beautiful. you talking about that peace and that freedom that you felt with the cacao, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just, uh, yeah. I had never experienced, I didn't know Chalka could do that. Just feel so right? happy. I know. And remember that first, I remember that first day you were like, wow, yeah. Like, I, I wish I had a photo of it, but there was one of those cacao ceremonies. You, Brian, had bunches of guys. You must have had like six oh. guys out at the vortex. And yes. you're all holding hands and dancing in the circle <laughs> yeah. the way the girls yeah. usually do. We had a bromance. There was like it four or five of us. And you know, interestingly enough, we'll talk about this. So from my painful. side of it, there, you know, at a healing center, usually it's a lot of women. Right, mm -hmm. which is great. Women have been awesome for the last 15, 16 years and we've been open. It's been wonderful. A lot of men, right? Nah, they're not really open to seeing this side of, of consciousness. Um, but it's been great. We've had a lot of men come through here in these last couple of months that really are open um, for growth in this in this area. And that was just so cool for all of us to kind of hug and tell each other we love each other um, and dance, right? Yeah. You know, usually men were like, oh, you know, you're, yeah. you know, you're gay, you're, you're, <laughs> yeah. God forbid. But no, I mean, you know, we were very open and hugging and very loving, and this is very healing for men. Yeah. You know, men need more of it, right? Agreed, absolutely. Yeah, yep. It's very important. <laughs> We've got our mascot down <laughs> wanting to get into the video, <laughs> yeah. as well as Inca was barking earlier, so hey, they're part of the, the, the pharma life, right? We love our dogs, right? Mirrors of unconditional... <laughs> And now we have a hungry dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> and and Jason, you, you know, you did another uh, ceremony with us, the peyote ceremony, and and um, uh, that experience, I know, was very profound for you. And one of the one of the, the beautiful moments that you know I work with peyote, beautiful moments that I have with with clients here. Um, it, and I had a really beautiful one with you as you walked up to the yoga platform, and I was doing energy work on people, and you just looked at me and you said, I, "It's I, I can't." literally my mind can't go forward or backward it's just locked in the present moment yeah. and that's truly what what pe peyote teaches that peyote at, at the high you know at the high experiences peyote teaches you that you're you're in that slipstream of god and and your 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 mind can't go into these little stories talk to us a little bit about that well i can't really say it better than that that is yeah that is what it is right. so much um presence in the it's like what i would practice meditation for to achieve and it takes a lot of effort a lot of meditation to get just a little glimpse of that what, just the hours and hours and hours of and meditation peyote gets you there in two three yeah, hours it was amazing well even in just one breath yeah right like, so, yeah after consuming the peyote i mean just in a breath you could just boom boom like you were um, there and so yeah and so coming out of that i feel like i've, I've definitely kept some of that ability um the past stories that we tell ourselves just that kind of you think it is who you are and you, right i think it's one of the lessons i've learned is that it's not the stories the stories that are there it's not it's actually who i am it can be whatever totally it is that I want to they're do. not as real as, as i thought they were yeah you know and that's really peyote does such a wonderful job of teaching that yeah it's beautiful i really yeah after that i really believed in my ability to manifest uh, and i and the belief in it is i mean most of the the strength in it so right. i think that for me it was very beneficial um, yeah, and excellent. So Good. many ways of like personal growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And, any other things here on the farm that you'd like to touch upon? Like, you know, while you're here, I mean, you, you've had so many wonderful moments with guests, uh, healing moments, energy sessions, anything, any other things you'd like to touch upon that was just really cool here uh, for you? Uh, yeah. Like, it was everything that I wanted to have in like a holiday. And with nice. like, because it had adventure and healthy right. eating. And healthy eating adventure. The yoga classes were phenomenal. Some Sebastian, the, he's some awesome. Of, some of the most unique, um, just awesome yoga classes I've done. Thank you, Sebas. Yeah, thank you, Sebastian. That was so good. Um, and his meditations as well. Oh, yeah. Which his yoga is really more of a meditation. Um, right. Um, Using and, the breath with the movement. It's awesome. Yes. Yeah, just so many good adventures here the waterfalls, the swimming. Nice. Um, and you're with you're with the Chris Kendall retreat yes. right now, so yeah, yeah. And so I joined. I did. I, I 
I did want to join the retreat, but I also didn't want to leave the farm. So I <laughs> so so you, jump, you jumped into an all raw food retreat, yeah, a little yeah. different. But you you were like, oh, what I love is that you're disciplined because you know every now and again he would he would have a coffee with me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry everybody, every now and again I have a coffee. Yeah. And and uh, this week he was like, nope, I'm following 100% raw food, and you've really done it. It's been amazing. Yeah, it's really. How easy. do you feel? Great. Cool. Yeah, cool. it's been really easy to eat healthy here the whole time. Just the way that I want nice. to eat. There's not influences, and everyone here was interested in health, and no one's they are. trying to. It's just all accepting, and um, there's less influence to. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was easy here. Beautiful. So just, yeah. So all this information that you got in this one month that you were here, what are you going to take back with you? What what's going to change a little bit? Any any little adjustments? Any fine attunements? Anything you're like, okay, I something's got to change when I go back. Yeah, um, I think just uh, you know, being kinder to myself and and to others. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, believing in um, like. Just like giving myself time for um, like self work, you know, med- meditation and journaling and nice. um, yeah, and just believing that you know things can change. They don't have to be the way that they have been. Or yeah, you can manifest. Yeah, right? it can be whatever I choose. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, You're the dream weaver. So yeah, leaving here, I really feel like yeah, anything's possible. It's up to me. Nice. And um, if I, I just have to decide what it is that I want. I can have it. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Hey, man, let me give you a hug. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I really yeah. enjoyed this guy. Yeah, I, you know, just definitely going to be a friend for life, farm yeah. life friend for a very long, long time. And, hey, you out there in YouTube land, you can create your dreams too. We, we love you guys. We'll see you.